In the veneering pattern for the front face of the drawer drawers are these little quarter circle cutouts here and I <clears throat> I placed satin wood in in those corners. So the way I remove that arc is with this radius tool here with a cutter and I put it right at the corner there and just this tool comes from Lee Nielsen and it's a Steve Latta veneering tool and you just kind of work it back and forth scraping away the material this is about a three-quarter inch radius and I use the same cutter then for cutting the satin wood insert but I have to adjust the radius a tiny bit and I think I'm now down to the ground there and then I just use this paring chisel to clear away that piece of crotch big leaf maple and then try to make sure there's it's clean glues out I have to I have to wait till the glue dries on this veneer um, panel here so I wait overnight before trying to cut this out if you do it while the glue is still a little bit wet then it can tear the tear the wood so that's how I remove these little circles this is a piece of satin wood and I'm cutting out the the pieces the quarter shapes quarter circles that will fit into these corners here and the way I'm doing that is to use the same tool I used to cut out the corner shape the corner I'm using to cut the satin wood and so I'm I've got a, some crosshairs there to locate a center and then I just scrape this I'm not worrying about going all the way through everywhere because I trim it with a little carving gouge to clear it out of there. Now let me see if I can rotate this around in this spot. This satin wood will be against an internal panel of big leaf maple burl, which is this stuff. And then the outside, it'll be against mahogany. So there should be some nice contrast there between the different then see if I can just use this gauge to cut this out of here okay, 
This is a three-quarter radius, and I'm using a number five gouge here. I forget how wide it is, how many millimeters wide. 10 or 12, it looks like, maybe. Okay, that should come out of there. It's a little rough in places. I, I can smooth those out. Then when I get it in this stage, I need to slice it into its quarters and should be able to, with the grain, this is going to be easy here. That'll be an easy cut. And this one, cross grain, it'll be a little bit, take a little more pressure here. These are just a tiny bit fat. Oh, well, I broke one. It's okay. Got one good one there. I could slice that with a knife that might help to keep this from breaking. There, I got two good ones there. So these, these will just slip into those cutouts in the corners, and they will be a little bit oversized. And that's okay because after they're glued, I can trim that off with a straight edge, get a nice conformed edge with the panel. I'll just glue one of these pieces of satin wood into the corner here. And Got a little glue, hot hide glue here. Well, more than a little. Plenty of glue. Now I won't, probably won't use the veneer hammer here. I'll just use my fingers to press that down, squeeze the glue out of there. And then that can be trimmed. I'm going to put a knife cut in there first. Cut off about right there. Yeah. Okay. I'll 
cross grain piece out of there. And see if I need to take a little off of this edge here. Just a little bit, tiny bit. I like to use a scraper blade here because it's got a burr it kind of sticks into the wood, doesn't slide so easily. Makes a nice straight edge when I, I want a permanent. Pull that away from there. Okay, there it is.